for this light heavyweight matchup is brought to you by Zions. Extreme supplements for extreme athletes available at GNC stores nationwide. Check us out at Zions.com. 42-year-old Randy Couture against 40-year-old Mike Van Arsdale. But don't let the ages fool you. These men are in prime condition and ready to go toe-to-toe -to -toe in the same fashion they did two decades ago. Herb Dean will be our referee. Okay, gentlemen, let's keep it nice and fair, nice and clean. Protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves. Come out ready to fight. These guys wrestled together for the same club, the Sunkiss Kids, for many years. And here they go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Mike Van Arsdale. And the natural Randy Couture. Is this part of the climb back up? Or will Van Arsdale shove Randy Couture further down? You ready to fight? You ready? Come on, let's do it. Here we go. Here we go. I got goosebumps after seeing Couture come in. Really playing to the crowd. He said earlier this week, you know, at 42, he just does it because he loves it. What more does he have to achieve? Well, I mean, he obviously loves competition. Dan Arsdale coming out looking for a little striking here early. Nice left hook by Randy. He took, he's got a hold of him and it looks like, it looks like he's got something underneath there. Randy choke him out from this position. It's hard to tell what he's got. Listen to the chant here. It looks like he might be looking to go into the gator roll. They love the natural Randy Couture. He transitions to, he looks like he was rolling to the back. He's got the over under, it looks like he's trying to take the back. He's got one hook in. Couture so experienced, and Van Arsdale has certainly been working hard on his mixed martial arts skills. Good Couture. Score. Whoa, beautiful scramble by Van Arsdale. And Couture will really push the pace here in a 15-minute fight. That's what he told us earlier Van this Arsdale's week. Van Arsdale's got Randy's back now. What will he do with it? Look for him and try to suplex him. If he can get his weight under him. Randy's going to spin out of danger. And he'd, try, he'd love to get into that clinch, which is a okay. dominant position for him. This is one of the first times we've seen Randy fight in the octagon with a guy who's got his level of wrestling. Unquestionably. I mean, maybe the last time was Kevin Randleman, and I don't think Kevin actually does. Oh, it's not for right Van Arsdale. Van Arsdale. With a good shot. Remember, though, Randy Couture can take some punishment. He did it against Pedro Hizzo. Survived a brutal second round in that first matchup against The Rock. Couture trying to work the knees. And a good takedown by Mike Beautiful Van Arsdale. By Van Arsdale, he's got Randy's back. He's Van got Arsdale one hook in. Trying to stay patient. Couture spins out. Now he takes the back. back. Wow. And Randy's got a hook in. He's got two. He's got his left hook in. He's looking to get his right one in. Now you can see, you can see two world-class grapplers going at it. Trying to get a different dominant position here in round one, Joe. Yeah, what a tactical battle this is so far. Conditioning has never been a factor with Randy Couture. You don't anticipate it would be here in this fight, especially one scheduled for only three rounds. Nice trip and a takedown. Randy transitions to the mount. Couture with ten mixed martial arts wins inside the octagon in his career. Couture trying to finish here in the first round. Randy's on top. He's looking like he's going for that gator roll again. Going to knee the Dropping body. Dropping some knees into his shoulder. Yep. Can Goes the lead. Can't knee the head, but he can knee the body. Good control by Randy Couture. Can you choke him out from this position though, Joe? Not right here. He doesn't have it deep enough. But, you know, it's possible that he can transition to that. He's controlling him from here. 
If Mike Van Arsdale gets impatient and leaps up, Randy can grab a hold of his neck. He's got the gator roll, and he's rolling into it now. Randy Couture. He's got it down. deep. He's got it deep, and he's rolling in here. Hitting the crossroads tonight. Man, Couture would like to get another chance at Chuck. Chuck Liddell, Jeremy Horn, our main event of the evening for the light heavyweight championship. Van Arsdale's very strong. He avoided that with his good base. He's got great base, and he, Randy couldn't roll him. Randy, the natural Couture. Van Arsdale seems to be blocking those punches. Couture might work the shoulders again with the knee. Cannot knee to the top of the head there. Cannot knee to the head. Fighter in a down position. So Couture will punch instead, and up they come. 15 seconds remains in round one. Fight is scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Couture with the better control here in the first five minutes. A good exchange again. <laughs> Round one is in the books. Round one goes to Randy Couture. And Shaquille O'Neal, Shaq Daddy likes it. Van Arsdale, world-class wrestler, national Ready. champion at Iowa State, an Olympic alternate. Randy Couture set to start the second round. Nice jab by Van Arsdale. Randy said in a three-round fight, you, you can definitely push the pace, but you can't make the mistakes you can maybe make in a fifth-round fight because you can't give that early round away. Right. And I don't think he did. Nice left hook. Nice left hook by Randy Couture. Van Arsdale might have got rocked there. Van Arsdale with a head fake. This is a very common position in this fight. Randy's controlling him on the ground, slamming those knees into his elbow, excuse me, into his shoulder. Striking, grappling, aggression, and octagon control, and that's what Randy Couture has right now, Joe, is a lot of octagon control. Absolutely, and he's in a position to try to grab that gator roll again. This work. This work, come on. And there he goes. He's going again. He's up against the cage, though. This is going to be hard to roll into it. Uh, the crowd anticipates Couture trying to end this again. He's got it pretty deep, but Mac, Mike Van Arsdale's got phenomenal base. Well, this might just be the difference between your 15th time in the octagon and your third time in the octagon. Yeah, you very rarely see a guy doing that, holding a guy in that position and then dropping knees onto the shoulder. October 7th, UFC 55 Fury from the Mohegan Sun in Uncasville, Connecticut. Heavyweight title fight between Arlovsky and Buentello. It's live on pay-per-view. Hope to see you again from Uncasville. Van Arsdale's bloodied up. Couture driving him back towards the mat. Couture doing a great job avoiding the punch. Getting the takedown and controlling Mike Van Arsdale. He's just relentless bleeding in badly. his control. Yeah. Mike Van Arsdale bleeding badly from his head. This is where that, that increase of pace works in favor of Randy because he only has to be prepared to go 15 minutes instead of 25. Since the format change, he's never gone in a fight that wasn't scheduled 25 minutes. Can't grab the feet. No, here we go. Here we go. Cut on the top of the head on the right side of Mike Van Arsdale. Oh, Randy just ducked away from that one. He's wearing down the gas of Mike Van Arsdale. Oh, and he fell on top. But the wrestlers have that same conditioning mentality. Van Arsdale. Oh, Van Arsdale had a good right hand. Caught Randy. Now Randy's going to try to pull him down here. Watch for the foot sweep. He's been legendary utilizing that as well. That's how he took Chuck Liddell down numerous times when he defeated him the first time. Chuck came back, won the light heavyweight championship. He defends that belt here later tonight. His work. Randy pushes an incredible pace. I mean, he really forces you to work at his level. Don't grab the fence. That's a warning, Mike. Don't grab the fence. He's the eco freak. That eco challenge in Fiji he competed in. One minute.
minute, 20 seconds remains here in the second round. Couture has had the majority of the control. Van Arsdale trying to avoid another takedown. Couture trying to latch on. Randy pulled his legs out from under him. And Randy loves to put his opponent against the fence, Joe. Stand him up. Randy's got his back. Look for Randy to try to trip him to the ground again. That's one thing where Van Arsdale is very good at the wrestling, like you said, Joe. He's using his wrestling skills to avoid the takedown, and he was able to avoid the takedown during that entire exchange. Mike oh, Van Arsdale, bloody and exhausted. Randy with his hands on his waist for a second. And Randy taking the center of the octagon. Tucking away. Randy with a left jab. Trying to set up Van Arsdale again. Van Arsdale with the, the leg. Looking for a takedown. Randy doing a great job of avoiding that. So two rounds in the books. And Randy Couture looking dominant again in the second round. Van Arsdale still trying to catch his wins. <laughs> a little smile from Randy Couture. And yeah, an opponent he truly respects in Mike Van Arsdale. He Van Arsdale's really gassed. He looks really exhausted. Unless he's playing possum, he is really gassed. Uh, I, I doubt it. That's where that clinch and that control, it just sucks the life out of you. Yeah, that, I mean, that is, oh, good left hand by Van Arsdale. Randy's got to be careful here. And he's keeping his distance away, avoiding the strike. Nice takedown by Randy. He's inside control. He's back in that same top position. He's got the gator roll. He hasn't been able to finish it so far because of Van, Van uh, Arsdale's base. He's rolling into it. He's got to roll under. He's got to roll his right shoulder underneath Van Arsdale's body. Wins by submission, and he is back to being in a perfect spot as the number one contender in the light heavyweight division. Let's take a look at the replay. Well, we knew the gas was just about out of Mike Van Arsdale's tank, Joe. And that yeah. may have led to the tap here. Well, this is what led to the tap. The gator roll. Randy Couture's <laughs> got his left hand on his right bicep. He's cranking on Mike Van Arsdale's neck and rolling underneath him, cutting off the blood to his brain. And as he gets tighter and tighter, Van Arsdale's forced to tap. A natural Randy Couture in front of the Couture family. Victorious here tonight for the 11th time in his mixed martial arts career here inside the Octagon. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner by tap out at 52 seconds of round number three. For the winner, Randy the Natural Cole.